Hi guys, welcome sa Behind Real Life TV featuring Hugot Sipnayan. So, before we start, nagpapasalamat po ako sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa aking tutorial, mat tutorial po Hugot Sipnayan. So, para po sa topic natin for today, we're going to find the domain restriction of rational algebra expression. So, tara guys, tingnan natin kung paano to. Now, let's try to define rational algebra expression. Any algebra expression in the quotient of two algebra expression are called rational algebra expression. In short, when we're trying to deal with rational algebra expression, there are just quotient of two polynomial. If two polynomial P and Q are in the quotient form, Q will never be equal to zero. Always remember, denominator must not be equal to zero. Yung po yung natawag nating algebra expression, rational algebra expression. Ito po ay quotient ng dalawang polynomial. Now, why do we need to find the domain restriction of rational algebra expression? Now, let's have a simple experiment. Ang 2 times 3 ay 6. Hence, ang 6 divided by 3 ay equal sa 2. Ang sa domain restriction, dapat ang denominator natin ay hindi mag equal sa 0. Kung ang 2 times 0 ay 0, ang 0 divided by 2 ay 0, ang 2 divided by 0 ay undefined. Ibig sabihin, kung sa ating P over Q na value for rational algebra expression, na ang P at Q ay pares na polynomial, ang Q will never be equal to 0. Kasi po, pag nangyari ang Q ay nag-equal sa 0, automatic, Yung expression po natin ay magiging undefined. At wala pang mathematician ang kaya na mag-solve na yan. Na ang, na ang number, pag dinivide sa zero, ay may sagot. Ibig sabihin po, isa to sa mathematical, uh, mathematical na problem na hindi pa nasasolve ng kahit na sino. Kaya po, ang sagot dito, undefined. Or wala sang talagang sagot. Always remember, dividing any number or dividing any number by 0 is undefined. So, doon pumapasa yung domain restriction. Ano ba yung domain restriction? So, by definition, domain are all set of values of variable. Kung may variable po tayo, automatic, for example, sa ating problem po, meron tayong mga variable, lahat po ng posibleng value ng variable, ang tawag po doon ay domain. So, in simplifying rational algebra expression, you need to pay attention with the variable. Kapag yung denominator ay naging zero, hindi po pwedeng gamitin ang mga value na sinasabi ko. Kung ang domain po ay set ng value ng lahat ng variable, may mga restriction tayo o hindi pwedeng gamitin. Ito yung tinatawag na excluded value. Kasi sinabi excluded, hindi po sila kasama o hindi sila kasali. Ang excluded value ay yung mga value na magiging zero ang denominator. At ng excluded value na to, ito ang tinatawag nating domain restriction. Ulitin ko po, ang excluded value ay ang mga value ng variable na hindi maaari dahil magiging zero ang denominator kapag ito ay sinubstitute or ginamit. So, Bakit hindi pwedeng maging zero denominator? Ulitin ko po, kapag naging zero ang denominator, magiging undefined ng ating problem at dito po ay mawawala ng sagot. Now, how do we find the domain? Ang domain po lagi ng rational algebra expression ay any real number. Yun nga lamang, kailangan natin ng restriction. Pag sinabi restriction, limit. Boundary ng value lamang. Ito lang yung maaari. Yung limit na yun na nagsasabi na 
Hanggang dito lang yung value. O, ito lang yung mga value yung pwede. So, ang first step natin para makuha yung domain restriction ay hanapin muna yung denominator natin. After natin hanapin yung denominator, lagi dapat equal natin sa zero natin. So, make sure equal natin sa zero para makompute natin yung value ng x na magiging equal sa zero siya. So, dito ang problem natin, may nasolve na tayo, dapat daw hindi siya mag-equal sa 3. So, first is, you need to get the problem. We have the denominator x minus 3. So, x minus 3 will be equal to 0. So, after nun, pwede natin isolve, ililipat natin yung negative 3 sa kabilang side by adding its additive inverse na positive 3. So, after resolving, x will be equal to 3. So, yung value ng 3 ang ating domain restriction. Hindi pwede ng x natin ay magiging 3. Para sa checking natin, try natin i-substitute. What will happen if you do substitute the value into the expression? Let's replace the value of x by 3. So, x plus 1 over x minus 3. If we're going to replace x by 3, so, papaltan po natin siya, 3 plus So, 3 minus 3 is 0. Ibig sabihin, the expression will become undefined at lahat po ng domain ng x ay pwedeng real number except sa value ng 3. Ibig sabihin guys, before we try to solve yung domain restriction, laging alamin natin ang denominator muna. Alamin ang denominator, equal sa 0, tapos i-solve. Para sa checking, pwede mo siyang i-substitute o ipalit sa ating equation. Let's have example number 2. Sa example number 2 natin, find the domain restriction. So, the same process tayo. Ang una natin guys ay isosolve muna natin yung problem. We have 2x plus 1 all over x squared minus 2x minus 3. So, ang ginawa dito, dumi restriction natin ay x squared minus 2x minus 3. So, yung unang pass natin, hanapin muna yung denominator. So, x, min, x squared minus 2x minus 3, getting its factor, we have x plus 1 and x plus 3. So, both of them, x minus 3, both of them will be equal to 0. So, we have x plus 1 equals to 0, and x minus 3 equals to 0. So, uh, lagay natin yung additive inverse nila parehas. For positive 1, we have negative 1. For positive 3, we have negative 3. Tapos, saka natin po siya, equate for 3 and negative 1. Ibig sabihin, Ang domain restriction niya ay any real number except for the value of negative 1 and positive 3. For the checking, i-replace natin ang value ng x by negative 1 at saka ng 3. So, first try natin ang negative 1. So, 2 times negative 1 plus 1 all over negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1 minus 3. Apiltan lang po natin ng negative 1 para malaman natin kung tatama siya. So, after replacing, we have negative 2 plus 1 all over 1 plus 2 minus 3. Pag sunod natin siya, negative 1 over 0. Ngayon, tatry naman natin ang 3. So, the same process po tayo. After resolving, we have 6 plus 1 all over 9 minus 6 minus 3. So, ganun lang din yung process. Na-replace lang din natin. After natin isolve, 7 over 0. Naging undefined siya. Both expressions are undefined under the value of negative 1 at saka positive 3. So, after nun, the domain restriction of the expression are any real number except for negative 1 at saka positive 3. Ulitin ko yung process natin. Kunin si denominator, equate sa 0, isolve, tapos check. Okay?
Let's have example number 3. For example number, the same process tayo. So we have 3B plus 1 all over B squared minus 4B plus 2. Sorry, plus 4. So our our denominator is B squared minus 4B plus 4. So yun po yung ating denominator. So we factor them out. We have X minus B minus 2, B minus 2. Sanin na sa X. So B minus 2, B minus 2. Since iisa naman siya, pwede natin isa lang ang kunin natin. It will be equal to 0. Equating them to 0, we need the additive inverse of negative 2. So meron po tayong positive 2. Lagay po natin sa both side. So B will become 2. And the domain restriction of the expression is any real number except for the value of 2. Pag ginamit natin siya sa ating problem, so, uh, wala, nakalimutan na yung checking. So, B squared is 4 minus 4 times 2. Ito po ay, uh, ito po ay 8, negative 8. So, 4 plus 4 will become 0. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. So, same process po tayo. Nalicheck lamang siya. So, do, let us, do not forget the process. So, first is, find any value of x that would make the denominator 0 by equating the denominator is 0 and solve for the value of the variable. Okay? Those will be the process. So, do not forget to try it at home, guys. So, thank you. I hope you learned something from my video. This is domain restriction for rational algebra expression. And for more video, kindly subscribe to my channel, Hugot Sip Nayan, by Behind Real Life TV. And God bless guys, ingat, and see you on a more video. Ingat po, and God bless.